Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to do a short video to give a little more detail of our shipping container building process. But you don't see a lot of these DIY shows and some of these other videos that people put out. I kind of skip over some of the things. So what we got here is a form that you're going to see in this video that we welded together. Well, I should say my wife welded together. She's a better welder than I was. So she did all the welding. So you can see what she welded it under here to connect this to this. We basically took some rebar, bent the rebar, created a square, put a piece of quarter inch steel on top of the rebar, welded it. These forms here are four feet tall. These forms inside the wood form that we dug into the ground. So these are the wood forms that we built and we dug down. So these are approximately around a little more than around four feet, well exactly four feet. When we pour the cement, the cement will sit in here covering the rebar. This metal sheeting will sit right at the top of the cement base. These bars will go on, we'll wire wheel these and then we'll put them crossways and we put them crossways, what they'll do is they'll support the form so that it can't go this way or that way because these will fit right in here like this and then you'll have another one that'll go this way like that. So when we're pouring the actual cement into the form, these will stabilize the framing of the metal so that it can't get lopsided or get out of uh, level once we get it all completely level. Basically what you have, if you look at the bottom of the corner of the shipping containers, you'll see right where the lip runs, but you can see the, the, the ending piece is where all the weight actually is, okay? So what I have is an actual ending piece here. These things are pretty heavy. But anyway, this will actually get here on this metal when we actually set them. So you have one there. set on top of these metal pieces. We'll weld them around the edge here. We'll bring a welder out here and we'll actually weld the shipping containers to this metal sheeting which will be encased in the four feet deep cement. Okay. So that's how the whole foundation for the whole shipping container will kind of be processed. So we wanted to give you guys a little bit more detail of exactly how you create the forms, how you create the foundation for the shipping containers, because as we watch videos, most of the videos on the web seem to just jump over this whole process and don't give you any details about it. So I hope this video, that's my new baby right there, honey. Little honey. She's just a little baby. Me. She's all over the place. Yeah. She's Say hi to the Say, Say hi, hi honey. Uh, I'm helping. <laughs> All right. So anyway, following this video, we just want to give this introduction. You'll see how we actually put these together and you know frame them all up. We got one more left to go for the middle section over there, which we'll be doing this week in class, uh, first week of November. We'll be finishing that last one. Then we'll actually be ready to pour everything. So until we talk to you again, be free. Marking a foot on each side. Speak up. I said, marking a foot on each side. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bend them. And they bend them, they're going to come out like this. And then we're going to put it in the foundation for the cement for the shipping container. The shipping container will sit on top of it. So, the video will be live. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Hope I don't burn nothing. <laughs> Set it on
regards to faith.
put inside our wood form, which is a support mechanism for the shipping container pillars. This will be inside the cement that will enclose all around, in which I'll probably repeat this. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just flattening the sides. So when we put the metal plate on top, the metal plate will fit flush with the sides. Help the metal plate fit flat and fit flush and plumb all the way around. Okay, but you'll see more video. It's probably somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Thanks for our teacher. Thank you. <laughs>